Sonny and Shay. Hey, hey, how are you, Terry? So I'm good. So sixth year here, Asian Awards. It's like family reunion, isn't it? It most definitely is. Like friends getting together again, but also the amount of people that are getting rewarded again is a surprise every year who's going to be nominated at these awards. And sometimes I learn something like I did last year. I didn't know Boss was Asian. What about the uh, nominations this year? Has anyone taken your surprise? Uh, do you know somebody that I was really delighted to hear about was the Founder Award, and that's Mother Teresa. I think what is fantastic about the Asian Awards is year on year they recognise people who have contributed to our society, and Mother Teresa is someone I looked up to as a young girl. And although she wasn't Asian, we've adopted her as one of our own, and I think that's what the Asian Awards recognises. is It's not about your background as much as it is about what you bring to the community. And also, when we talk about in this day and age, diversity and all that, there's an award ceremony right now who doesn't recognise diversity. It's, imp it's actually promoting diversity. So, uh, Mother Teresa aside, because that's a huge one. Lady Diana was a huge fan, mm. and, and not just a fan, it's a, a, almost a follower. Yeah. Um, is, are you a follower of anyone here tonight? I guess it's the, the presenter today is a really good choice. He's a big, I'm a big fan of comedy and acting. And so therefore this guy is going to do an amazing job tonight. I'm just waiting to see what he's going to do with the crowd. I, I so do, I do I'm a big fan of him. Yeah. I agree. Alistair McGowan is fantastic. Um, I do think that we've got some amazing talent that the Asian Awards are recognizing, whether it's in music. I know we always talk about music, but for me, I'm quite intrigued to see who's going to win in business because in a year where we're looking at the EU referendum, in a year where we've got the London mayor elections, I think the Asian Awards are going to be picking out people that are the key players in our economy. So the Asian Awards, of course, is recognizing the poorest of the poor, with who uh, Mother Teresa served in salvation, mm -hmm. and the richest of the rich. There's a trillion pounds worth of people in that room. Yeah. Uh, I guess that matches how much your outfit is worth. <laughs> you know what? I think oh, my dear. wife is priceless. Uh, so therefore, in that respect, um, I can't even put a price on her. But when it comes down to our outfits and everything, they're all known. But you know, we're real people. <laughs> So that trillion pound ain't gonna, yeah, there you go. So, Absolutely. you know, so what we're saying was we're gonna come have a bit of a laugh, a bit of a smile, and you know, on BBC Radio London, where we are, which is our home every night on the weekends, and on BBC WM, we'll talk about this night and we'll talk about the amazing people that are gonna be. Uh, in that room tonight. Do you know it's fantastic that you say, and I didn't realise it was a trillion, you know, pounds at the Asian Awards. But there's a certain class and elegance that the Asian Awards brings to London. And you know, of course, it's awards season. We get to see all of the big awards. We've been talking a lot about the Baftas, but I think everyone's looking towards this night, not just for the money, but for the outfits as well. Yeah. So finally, I just want to leave one word with you, and I want you to get your reaction to okay. it. And that's the word aspirations. Okay. We've all had aspirations, and I'm speaking to some of the people that walk through these doors, and later on we'll catch up with some of the winners but where do you go next Sunny and Shay aspiration wise where do you personally go next from where you are um, we're really delighted to say that we are the most listened to husband and wife in this country and that is something that we've worked really hard on you know we are now on radio seven day seven days a week that was a goal I never thought we would achieve and it was a dream of Sunny's and we stood here at the Asian Awards saying we've done it where we want to go next is something that I'm going to ask you because whatever, whenever Sonny says something, I always look at him and shock how are we going to achieve this? But yeah. somehow we always manage to. So the next forward is to win an Oscar. Okay, so I'm saying it here. I'm going yeah, to win an Oscar. To win at some an point. Asian award, surely. Yeah, that's going to come with the Oscar anyway. Oh, right, so let's okay. go high. Let's <laughs> aim, let's aim for the stratosphere and let's aim for the, I guess, um, the Milky Way, and we'll end up on the moon. Do you know the one thing? As long as Sunny and I are together as a husband and wife, is something that I think we'll be able to achieve anything and everything that we want. And we've only been able to do that through the love and support of our fans and those people that obviously watch the family on Channel Four. Sunny's mum and dad are a big, important part of our lives. And whatever we aspire to, as long as they're with us, I'm sure. We'll achieve it. Yeah, family is the biggest uh, achievement in everyone's life, I think. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so well, much. Positive start to the evening. Oh, eh? Thank you very much. That's really nothing. Thank you. Um, can you just do me a favour and take a picture of me and Terry? Yes, I can. All he has to do is interview. Yes, yes. I want a picky with Terry. Uh, yeah, shall I go down?